Before you dismantle your society, you should see this. Chart update for 26th March. This presentation does not describe our perspective of the coronavirus. It is solely an update for the charts. Please view either the original March 23rd video or the compact March 26th video to understand our full analysis of government data. The UK Chief Medical Officer has presented a scenario of 80% infected, 53 million people, and 1% deaths, 530,000 people. Not everyone who is infected shows symptoms, so let's see what the CMO was telling us could happen in terms of cases. Here's the CMO's 80% infected, with one line showing 80% of infected with symptoms, and another with 20% of infected showing symptoms. It's not a very reassuring picture, nor is it even close to a realistic picture given the real curves shown in the picture. To show how unrealistic it is, let's use a social media and government trick and use linear scales, not logarithmic. The CMO scenario is so extreme that the real world scenarios that are actually happening aren't even visible. Is it any surprise that Britons went into lockdown meekly when their parent government assured them that such an extreme threat was real? Anybody old enough to remember WMD? Let's now look at the country charts for the 15 countries we're tracking. These charts have data up to the 26th March 2020. The 15 countries continue to follow a similar progress for the virus. Italy green is the only country to have gone slightly beyond Hubei in cases per 100 million population. Projecting its curve, we suspect Italy may go as high as 260,000 cases per 100 million population. That would be a rate of 0.26% of the population, or 1 in 383, showing symptoms, confirmed cases. Norway, blue, like Italy, is curling over, so we know the crisis is over, just not the contagion. We suspect that Norway will plateau at 165,000 per 100 million population, or 0.16%, or 1 in 611. Germany, red, is not quite so clearly curled over. We suggest at 193k per, per 100 million population, 0.19%, or 1 in 517. UK pink, started later, is barely curled. We suspect 202k per 100 million population, 0.2% or 1 in 493. Note that the UK projection is independent of lockdown. The effects of lockdown will modify the curves starting in perhaps 6 to 15 days, or the second following to the fifth following data point. Thailand yellow is indeterminate we do not feel comfortable treating it as curling over. Italy and Germany look to be past peak, provided they don't relapse. Italy's curve is so pronounced, we consider that unlikely. Iran and Iraq have well-developed curl over, though Iraq is not flattening, which is a concern. Russia, South Africa and Algeria we consider to be uncurled, still climbing, unfortunately. Although with well-developed curl over, Iran is not at peak, new cases diminishing. All of these countries seem to be at risk of undiminished growth of new cases for the moment. The Americas are perhaps the most frustrating charts, and we've included Israel here also. There really seems to be no evidence of curl over. It seems to be a race to get to Hubei. The irony of the most isolationist countries, US Israel, being the least able to be optimistic for the moment is not lost on me. I am tempted to suggest that the more you resist infection, you may slow it, but it just prolongs the agony. With well-developed curves, Italy and Germany are, I believe, at peak, Norway close, and the UK close after that, or we would have been if we had not been locked down. A little patience, and the UK could have been done with the virus a week or two after Italy. Now we'll have to endure both lockdown and the virus. A little recklessness on the part of the US and Canada, and they too could have been much further along. They will endure even longer periods of fear, 
lockdown and still the inevitable disease until this is out of their system. Frankly, I think it's something better to be just done with. There's no question of peak at this point. We're still waiting on curlover. Signs that a well-developed contagion is being absorbed, rejected and tiring in numeric terms. We do understand that viruses probably don't get tired themselves. But until the US accepts the virus, its immune system can't reject it. It's not difficult to check these numbers, and being properly informed is the best antidote to the fear virus that is being actively pushed right now. That truly is a pandemic. Your immune system is the best defense against the coronavirus. Your brain is the best defense against the fear virus. Use both, trust both, strengthen both. You're going to die. That's just life. It's just exceedingly unlikely that coronavirus is the thing that's going to kill you. Thank you for listening or watching. Feel free to get in touch, andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrewamather.com. Either should get to me.